The system of international criminal justice is today confronted to several important challenges. The first challenge relates to the question of its efficiency and credibility. One of the main criticisms following the conclusion of the first ICC trial of Flubanga in 2012 was that after 10 years of existence, the ICC had spent nearly 1 billion euros and produced only one first instance verdict. The ICC president, Silvia Fernandez de Gomendi, has stated that expediting the trial process is a top priority. Faster proceedings are essential in order to reinforce the credibility of international criminal justice, to guarantee fair trial and ensure justice for victims. This priority is even more important in a context where the ICC is a universal court whose workload is likely to increase if it proves itself to be an effective actor. That said, one should always bear in mind that trying the authors of mass crimes who are situated at a high level of political or military authority and which are committed on a large scale over a long period of time is an extremely difficult and time-consuming endeavor. Moreover, the ICC, like any other international court and tribunal, is entirely dependent on the cooperation of states for the arrest of the accused and transmissions of evidence. This cooperation is often difficult to realize in practice. The international criminal justice system, in particular the ICC, is also confronted to the delicate issue of its legitimacy. The ICC prosecutor continues to face criticism over selection of situations and cases. Many states have expressed their concern that the ICC is only investigating and prosecuting African cases. Many states feel dispossessed of their sovereign power by a system of justice controlled by Western countries. Indeed, the situation was uh, so difficult that uh, some African states announced their intention to renounce their membership of the ICC. Two observations should, however, be made in this regard. First, the majority of these situations have arisen from self-referrals or where non-member states, such as Ivory Coast at the time, have accepted the court's ad hoc jurisdiction. Moreover, two situations were referred to the prosecutor by the United Nations Security Council. Only one, Kenya, was proactively initiated by the prosecutor and that after the court ruled that domestic action by the Kenyan authorities was insufficient. Secondly, the ICC has now opened investigations on a non-African situation, Georgia.